It's a little bit washed out here, not too bad. Okay, so we've made it up to the job site and this is the driveway that we're going to be working on. It's a little bit washed out here, not too bad, but really the biggest trouble spot is right up here in this area <clears throat> where the erosion's kind of rutted it out a little bit because the water doesn't drain off of it all that great and then up here it's just kind of overgrown. Normally our preference on a job like this would be to dig out the bad spots, get rid of the grass, then go back in with fabric and crusher run. That's the ideal situation, but you don't always get to do ideal. So our goal at this point is we have a budget of one triaxle load of crusher run plus two to three, maybe four hours of skid steer time to get this uh, shaped up and looking the way it needs to. So what we're gonna do is just try to patch up the subgrade as best we can, maybe try to start to get a little bit of a crown in it so the water will at least drain off the sides of the driveway where it comes through the hill. Then when the crusher run gets down here, we'll put in a new base layer of gravel and roll it in really good. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit of a tilt from right to left and really what I want to end up with is more of a crown. So I think what I'm going to try to do is just take some of this excess out of this little knoll, push it down the hill, and then take the built up spots on either side, shave those down, bring them back toward the middle. I don't know that's, that that's going to give me enough to rebuild the subgrade, but at least it'll get me on my way so that once the crusher run gets here, I can make best use of it. I decided to go with the flat bucket on this, mainly because I didn't really know what I was gonna be dealing with in the subgrade, and I was concerned that the tooth bucket might be a little bit aggressive for digging in down here. So I just felt like this was the safer play. I did bring the tooth bucket just in case I need it. Um, for a second there, I thought I might just go put it on to take this piece down, but I've got time because I know that our triaxle driver is not going to be here for probably an hour. So I'm just trying to take it easy and work my way through it. It'll be all right. We'll get there. really kind of splitting the driveway into two sections. And the first section is what I'm working on now, which is the approach up the hill. And then the second section will be everything from the hill up to the concrete area up there. With this much of a change in pitch, it's, it's just kind of hard to work it all at one time. OK, 
Okay. We'll start this side. This section of the driveway right here actually does have a little bit of a crown in it. Which is good. So what I'm going to attempt to do is just work one half and then the other half and just kind of go with it and maintain the crown. We can just start getting some of this material down. Building the driveway back up. So to try to help myself build a crown, typically what I do is just lay it overlapping passes down where the middle is a little bit thicker. And that just helps naturally build it out. I'm just trying to get it like roughly where I want it right now. And then I'll come back in and really start trying to smooth it out. me I just keep taking thin passes each time until I get the kind of get the grade that I want the main thing about grading with the skid steer is just to keep your boom arms all the way down so that they're touching the frame of the loader and then you make your depth adjustments very slowly and easily by curling and uncurling the bucket. For me, if I just kind of focus on working from the middle toward the edge, then a lot of times what happens is the crown kind of establishes itself. See there, I kind of felt myself riding a little bit, so I'm gonna back up. And just take a nice clean pass, because this is my start off area. And I really want it to stay as level and good as it can. I was a little too fast that time. I could feel myself digging in. So I'm just gonna try to go ahead and do a couple of cleanup passes to fix that, slow the machine down. And 
that way I don't completely lose all the work I've already put into it. I pretty much am always leaving my bucket with a good bit of material in it, if not just full. Number one, it keeps the bucket a lot more stable, and then number two, it just kind of lets me use the bucket like a dozer blade a little bit. This is the part for me that always gets interesting, which is trying to keep the pile of gravel from spreading out too far. Which on this side it kind of has a little bit. Well, that about wraps it up for this job. Uh, we got 25 tons of crusher run down, got it rolled in, crowned off, and graded out to the road really nice, and the flares rebuilt. So I think they're gonna be really happy with this. We appreciate you guys so much for sticking around for this video. We look forward to seeing you on the next one.